Traffic traveling north to south on Nielsen consists of two lanes on the northeast end of the intersection with traffic flowing both directions. However, it switches to a one-way single lane of traffic after the intersection on the south end of Nielsen. Traffic traveling east to west on New Street consists of five lanes of traffic. Traffic traveling east to west has an exit ramp that breaks off onto Route 18 and there's an exit ramp that breaks on as well. There is no actuated pedestrian signals traveling east to west. They are only present when traveling north to south across Nielsen. New Street is the major road. The light is longer by about two cycles. There is right on red allowed and cars seem to be inching up into the crosswalk. There is also a bug lane on Nielsen. The northeast and southeast APS is further down the corner, about a few feet away, which can make it difficult to locate. The traffic traveling east to west on New Street has the longest phase. When timed, it came out to be about a minute and 10 seconds, even without cars present. When the APS was pressed, the light switched with five seconds, and the amount of time given to cross was about 30 seconds. I crossed it myself to test it and was about halfway to a third of the way with 20 seconds left to cross. The west side of Nielsen is longer and it's not a straight line to cross. There's no APS and it didn't count down the crossing time from east to west. The APS section three on the east end and two on the west end. There's truncated domes present. The crosswalk was brick for texture changes and on the southwest corner of the intersection, a raised pavement followed the bend for the street because it was very close. The APS present were automated and they spoke.